Is this thing on? Check one, two. Hey guys, how you doing? All right, I promised you a report on the Oculus Quest. Controllers are in hand. I'm gonna give this a spin. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record directly onto my Quest and I'm gonna upload it and put this video side by side because at the moment I cannot cast this onto a TV or onto my screen. So that's how we'll have to do it. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed so far. Granted, it is a new electronic item and there's a novelty attached to it, much like an iPad or new laptop or new phone. There's always novelty, but I'm curious to know if this novelty will carry on for a while or whether it'll wear away. Uh, what I want to do for you is I'm going to show you a game I picked up yesterday called Star Wars Vader Immortal. This game is amazing. Ten bucks. Just ten bucks. And as a big Star Wars fan, it's blown me away. Now the reason I love this, uh, you you Star Citizen backers will remember when uh, Star Citizen kicked off, VR was just taking off, they had a big Kickstarter, and in 2014, when Facebook purchased Oculus Rift, we were all excited for VR, and we asked, will Star Citizen be able to support VR in the future? And they said they would. Well, okay, we're in. So here is the cool part. We're in space. Flip the bypass switches, you got it. Flip. How cool is this? Grab, see, I push that button, I get a grab motion. I'm gonna grab this and... Woo! Woo! You got it. So, there we are. Let's just wait for this uh, scene to play through. I'll take you for a look around the ship in a second. Sure thing, you got it. Here's our ship. Now here's the beautiful thing, okay? No cables, right? Now, I'm limited by my play space, if you can see this grid around me here. That's as far as I can walk. If you have a garage, take the car out and make the entire garage your play space. And you can walk around the ship wherever you want. There's nothing stopping you from walking to that end right over there. Uh, because I don't have the space, I'm gonna use my controller and and move myself around like this. But uh, before I get moving there, check out the details on the gloves. And the great thing is when you hold your controller, squeezing that does this, squeezing your index finger pulls in the index finger, and uh, touching any button with your thumb, well, you can make a fist. So you can do that. How's that? <laughs> or obviously you can do, uh, yeah, let's not go there. But you get what I'm saying, right? So let's take a walk into our ship again. If I wasn't constrained by my space here, I could walk around the ship physically, which is amazing. Uh, you can see these items everywhere. We can reach out and touch some things. Ow! What was that? And uh, you feel like you can reach out and just touch the items here. The, everything is just so real. Obviously, the graphics not the best, but it's not bad at all. So I can grab his helmet. Yes. Can I put it on my head? Where's my camera? There. You did it. You were terrible at it, and we lost a ton of credit. But still, you know what? An accomplishment. I'm wearing a helmet. Let's look. Let's look good. However, yeah. please don't do it again. Can take the helmet off. I can. Don't. Let's clean up. Let's put you back where you belong. There we go. And what else can we explore? Right, she has like a item. The tracking is spot on. The cameras on the top and the bottom here that are tracking my movements. The crystal, you can look at it, you can examine it. I can put it down the exact spot I want it. How was I supposed to know the little model of the ship. Look at it. You can make out the detail in the landing gear. It's it's just so impressive. I can put it down wherever I want. So I feel like I'm in the actual ship itself. And this kind of thing excites me for Star Citizen. 
Um, I'm just trying to peek out through my nose as I can kind of see. So let's make our way over to uh, you here. Oh, the bowcaster. I didn't get there. I'll get there in a second. All right, so I want me to scan the ship. So I'll grab this, give it a twist. Oh, I see this damage right over there, right? Well, looks like the main sensor antenna has been damaged. All right, let's switch to backup. I agree. All right. So you want me to touch a button? No? Am I doing that right? There we go. You do get some feedback in the controllers. It vibrates when you touch things. Obviously, no force feedback. Well, the deflector shields are totally offline. One more hit, and we would have been toast. Good thing that didn't Shut happen. Shut them down until we can get them repaired. You got it. All right. There we go. So you get the idea. Now I do want to take a walk over to my. Oh, I can't get there. Too late. Something's wrong, Captain. Let's go check it out. If I was able to walk, I'd walk over there, but I'm just using my controller to make my way there. This planet looks familiar. Is it Mustafa? It could be. Why? Why have you done this? You know what, these speakers are not bad. The first time I saw that, that was so impressive. You Star Wars geeks will immediately recognize this particular ship with its unique round protrusions there being an interdictor class ship. The ones that pull you out of warp, right? This is ZOE3, first mate on the Windfall. Zoe to my friends, uh, there must be some mistake. Admiral, the windfall is a humble... All right, let's get out of this. I don't want to give you too many spoilers. Oh, wait. I want to go to the menu. All right. Let's go to... Main menu. I want to show you the dojo. Now, for 10 bucks, I would have paid... Just 10 bucks for this dojo. Let me show you why. For you kids who grew up in the uh, the 70s and 80s, what would you have given to be able to pick up a lightsaber and do what I'm about to do? Now keep in mind, the controller in my hand has weight. And so it feels like I'm holding the hilt of a lightsaber. It's also going to vibrate and give me the correct feedback to everything I do. So here I am. I'm in the hangar. There's the ship. I'm not going to spoil the story for you in case you want to play this game. Uh, so I'm going to grab, using the grab feature. As far as my brain is concerned, I'm holding this in my hand. And the moment you've been waiting for... It feels right. It's vibrating just the right way. You know what? And the tracking is not bad at all. So I'm going to take on some droids here. Now, I wish I had more room. But we'll make do. And uh, here we go. All right, you're doing great. This is the best part. I could do this for hours. And you know what? The blocking doesn't have to be accurate. And uh, it's kind of a. Uh, they keep coming. Well, in this particular level, anyway. And you get the idea. Oh. Sometimes you get two at the same time. I can only assume that eventually we get uh, dual sabers at some point. Yeah. All right. Well. Whew. You get the idea. No, I'm going to exit there. I wanted to come over here. Well, let me get out of this for now, but uh, that's what I wanted to show you. So overall, I gotta say, um, 
Oh, there's the camera. Very impressed with what you get so far. And if this is the low watermark for what mobile all-in-one VR is going to be, because it's only going to improve me, faster chips, more memory, better screen resolution. Uh, if this is the low watermark of what's coming, it's going to be amazing. And I'm excited to see what the next generation is going to hold. So first review of the Quest, beyond spectacular. It's... Uh, it's like when you got your first iPhone. It's that exciting. Uh, is it something I see myself using every single day for hours? No, I think my kids get more use out of it. But I'm very excited for what the future will hold for the next generation to come. Definitely exciting and uh, for me, worth the money. If you do own a Quest or the Rift S, uh, I'm interested to know your opinion and your experience. Post below. If you enjoy this content, thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.